guys, so today I'm going to be unboxing my new vest machine. Um, which it really what isn't an unboxing because I've already unboxed it. And I already opened the stuff that I got. But, um, I had to because I wanted to make sure everything fit and everything worked properly before, um, I actually started using it. So, as you can tell, the hoses on this vest are different. So, I've watched a couple of the 105 vest machine unboxings, and this is what I learned. And I also read the instructions. Calm down. I read the instructions. Trust me. This had to be read. Because I had to figure out how to use it. Um, so what it does, it goes into the vest and it actually locks into the vest so you can't pull it out. Um, now, I have heard that these are um, more easy to break than the other ones because of this. But I'm usually pretty good. The only reason why some of my tubes break is because they wear out and they get worn down. That's why the old ones would break. So that'll probably be the case with these. But um, it's all sparkly, you guys. I don't even remember this whenever I first got my other one. But uh, that was a long time ago. So it probably was, but it, I just don't remember. Um, so I figured I would show you guys today, too, what it does. Like how it fits and everything. So here's the cord. Let me just figure out how to plug this one in. I have not used this yet. I've been using my other one because it doesn't leave. Um, well, by the time you guys are watching that, it's probably already gone. But um, it will be my first time to use it. Whenever you guys see this, it'll be today that I'll be using it. Um, so, I'm going to plug it in. And it comes with a bright screen. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's bright, bright screen. And this, while I was ordering, um, while the lady said that we were going to get a new one, she just went ahead and said, hey, do you need a new um, vest part? I was like, yeah, I would. So I've got this. I'm going to put this on. Ooh, let's get back to see if you can see it. Okay. So I click all of these together. And normally I would have like nebulized medication, but right now, just for this video, I'm gonna be just doing this part. Um, so I'm gonna put this in. Put this in. Okay. And then the hose is actually hooked to these parts of the vest. I don't know if you can see that because I'm so far away. One day I'll do a more detailed of how it works, but today is just like um, an overview, I guess you could say, of how it works. So you hook it to here, and you guys, there's a lot of different settings on this one. That's what makes it so different from the 104. It made me a little intimidated at first, but once I read the instructions and watched the videos, I felt more confident. So what you do, they have a setting for either normal or you can customize. Well, me, I'm so used to having normal um, and having my old one that I'm going to stick with normal. Maybe one day I'll venture out and try the custom, but for right now, I'm just going to stick to normal because it's what I know. So I have noticed like the numbers on this one, the pressure and um, the frequency, I guess you could say. I guess that's the right term. It's different on this one than it was the other one. Or maybe it was just because my other one was so worn out. Um, so, what you do is you press the on button. Oh, I also found something else. Oh, where to go, where to go, where to go? It's important! Hold that thought, I gotta find it. There it is. Okay, I found it. I found it, I found it. I'll show you, you guys this in a second. So you get all comfy, and then you start it. And it starts off slow, and then it builds up to what your frequency is, to what your um, vest settings are. So as this starts, you'll notice maybe my voice will get a little bit weird, and it'll start sounding funny. And a lot of people, whenever I put this on in front of people, they'll be like, oh my goodness, that is so weird, you know, that's so funny. 
alone. It is pretty funny. Um, so this is what I sound like whenever I talk. Um, I sound kind of like a sheep. That's what, whenever I first got my first vest. Um, that is what I did. I went back and I sounded like a sheep. Um, and then you just press the off button and it goes completely flat. Now the other one, the 104 model, whenever it would turn off, it would slowly, like the air in this would slowly seep out. But in this one, it's like within like that, it just, it's totally gone. Um, and this one is a lot uh, quieter than the 104. Um, but to this that I went looking for, um, I had one of these with my 104, but it was more like a pedal, like, it was like that round, and it didn't do like this does. This is really cool. I will probably be using this. So, there's a little hole right here, and you put this little cord in there, and then you squeeze this, and it starts your vest without you having to press any buttons, well, except for like the normal mode. It starts your vest, and then... You squeeze it, and it stops it. It is so awesome. I do miss my other one, but this one is way cooler, and I feel like my other one was getting pretty worn out, and it just wasn't doing the same as this one is going to do for me. Um, but yeah, that's it. And then once 45 minutes is done, and all my, well, most of my nibs are done, I take it off. And then if I'm taking like um, an inhaled antibiotic that month, I'll have to do another nebulized treatment. But it's a my total treatment takes about probably an hour, maybe maybe a little more. Um, my total treatment that's twice a day though. So really, it takes two hours a day to do chest therapy. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping this will be. Like a new addition to the family, you know, goes everywhere I go. Almost everywhere. Every trip I take, it goes with me. Oh, it's annoying, but it is so beautiful. Oh, my goodness, it is so pretty. Anyway, that's been an unboxing. I love you guys. I will see you later. Bye. Oh, one more thing. I'm doing a um, answer your question video. So... In January, in January, I had asked you guys, you know, to send me some questions because I think like January 26th was CF Awareness Day. Um, but I never got around to doing it because I was in the hospital and I meant to do it after I got out. But then whenever I got out, I went on home IV antibiotics and a lot was happening. And ever since then, it's just been busy, 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 um, trying to get caught back up on everything doctor's visits and everything so hopefully that video will video I can't talk today that video will be coming out soon um but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this if you did give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to like and subscribe and I would love it if you guys left a comment down below cuz uh I like comments and I like reading them I love reading them and anyway Bye.